Hello everyone. I just thought I'd pop on here and give you all just a little nugget or tidbit that, that the Holy Spirit showed me about these fall festivals, these Hebrew fall festivals that we've entered into, the, the ones that were commanded by God to, for them to observe. So we have Yom Turah, which is the Feast of Trumpets. Then we have Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement. And then we have Sukkot, which is the Feast of Tabernacles. And um, so every year I just really dig in and, and see what the Hebrew sages say about things. They, ha they have so much um, deep things that we don't always get just on the surface of the religious part of everything. So what I found out last year and then I, I've been pondering, just like when I found out that Jesus' birthday was not December 25th. So I really started asking, when is, when is, when was he born? When did he enter the earth in the fleshly form? And the Lord showed me, and that's for another day. But today, what he showed me was, I, I started digging in and I found out from Hebrews that Rosh Hashanah, um, which is the head of the year, which pretty much takes over Yom Turah because that's just kind of on the back burner. But Rosh Hashanah was not celebrated until 200 AD. So after the death of Jesus, they, they did not celebrate it. It's a man-made feast. Um, and, and the interesting thing I found out, it is, it is the time or maybe even the day that Adam and Eve were created. So what he showed me is that it's really, I, cause I asked him, you know, God, why, why do they have two year, new years? What is this? And then, then he showed me that, it, I mean, it was not celebrated till 200 AD and it's only in the Bible one time. Um, and it, Rosh Hashanah is mentioned in Ezekiel 2:12, and God spoke to Moses from that time, from this time on, that Nisan will be the beginning of months. So I'm like, okay, so that's just so interesting. He said, from this time on. So I said, what is, what is it? And he said, it's, it's all about my son, Jesus. He said the the, the old new year, which is when the earth and Adam and Eve were created. So when we say 5781, it, it, it's the birthday of the earth and Adam and Eve. But Nisan is the birthday of Jesus. There's a little key right there. And it, it's what God wants to begin with. Everything begins with Jesus. So, you know, really, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to celebrate Adam and Eve and the, and the um, creation of earth. But really, that's the old man. We're now the new man. If we're in Jesus, we're the new man. And that is just the little bit of revelation that God gave me that because I, I wondered why did they, you know, change it. But, well, the Hebrew people still don't have the revelation of Messiah. So it's just really exciting as we move forward out of religion and religious practices into the um, relationship as, as a son, as a beloved son of God, he starts showing you these little things. Now he, he loves everyone the same, but as someone who really wants to know and connect with Yeshua and, and Father God, he starts showing you these little tidbits of who he is and why he did things. And we just don't keep, you know, it's just such a mystery to, when you find out that you've been doing something your whole life that really ha does not have a foundation, a biblical foundation, and you thought it did. So it's just exciting as God moves us through this time. And um, the, the one thing that's really exciting is the Feast of Trumpets is symbolizes the crowning of the king. Well, we know who the king is. The king is Jesus, the Messiah, and he was crowned the king of kings. So that that's how, as we move forward, we need to just put the highlight on Jesus through it all. Yom Kippur is a time to return to the core of yourself. Um, and when you do that, 
It's just so important to know that the plumb line is love and you're supposed to love yourself and your neighbor and God, but you have to know he loves you first. So remember what you see your father doing is how you perceive God and it's what you will reflect out to others. The, the, um, they say your heart, the Hebrews say your heart is actually a mirror. So what you believe in your heart about Father God is what you will reflect out. So it's just a really good time to connect with the Father and feel His love so you can reflect that out to others. And then Tabernacles, Sukkot, is realizing that you're a new creation. You are a Kainos man. You are a whole new creation, one with the Creator and one with all of creation because He created it all and it's all alive. And that's that's part of maturing into to a beloved son of God is realizing that you're loved and that you're connected to all of creation and that's tabernacles is outside it's in creation so as you said outside this year celebrate celebrate his creation and and becoming a son of God which is what they're waiting for for us to rise up and become a beloved son of God so that's my revelation for today and there'll be many more to come we'll see you soon